the digital home network. The digital home network components. In the typical home network, you have three groups of devices which make up the home network, which include a modem and a router, which, which makes up the residential gateway. In the residential gateway illustration, the white piece of equipment, also called an ONT, acts as the modem. In addition, it carries out other functions. The client devices, set-top boxes, personal computers, tablets, smartphones, and the list goes on. Physical layer technologies. This is the medium used to distribute the broadband within the home and includes wireless, Cat5 cable, coaxial cable, phone lines, and power line. This is the most important part of the network as all of the devices use this to transfer their data. Most of the failure in a home network requires some reconfiguration of the physical layer technology. The digital home network backbone. The digital backbone is the physical wiring used to connect client devices to the video, phone, and data flowing through the IP network. Some clients use more than one physical connection to get and send this data. Set-top boxes use coaxial cables, Ethernet connections, and specialized cables like HDMI, component, composite, and VGA cables to transfer the video to the monitor for viewing. Personal computers, tablets, smartphones, printers, televisions, and other devices can connect using Ethernet, wireless A, B, G, and N technologies, and power line standards to connect to the DHN router directly or indirectly. These types of connections all have use in today's growing DHN, but for video, wired connections are preferred as the wireless methods today are not suitable for video distribution due to the insufficient bandwidth. Today's Digital Home Network This is an illustration of what it looks like when it's all connected. Today we have multiple computers, phones, and televisions. The diagram below shows each device and what medium is being used to connect it to the DHN. Emerging Trend Digital Home Network and Transmission Mediums Cat5 or Ethernet Computers are the most popular devices for home networking and Cat5 is becoming increasingly integrated in many new homes being built. Cat5 gives the best performance to date. Wireless this is a very convenient medi medium and no additional cables are needed. However, today's technology is suitable for data transfer, but not for video distribution as bandwidth is limited. Powerline. This is an alternative when Ethernet cannot be installed and wireless connectivity is not good. Powerline has two adapters which use existing power outlets and transfer IP data through the existing wiring. Telephone. Most homes have, a phone, have phone jacks in multiple rooms, which makes this an attractive method for transferring data throughout the DHN. However, on further investigation, these jacks may not be close to the devices or located in the same rooms with the television, and this limits its use for IP data. Coax. Since the late 1980s, cable televisions have become mainstream in many homes, and most homes have coax connections throughout their rooms. They are normally in positions where a TV is installed. This makes them one of the better connections for the video distribution, but length of coax cabling and number of splits limit their capability. but edit and create their own content. 
companies like Verizon and Google have started to use fiber optic technology to get the signal to the home and once there have an array of devices that can interact with each other and transfer this data. Verizon with its successful quantum internet offering is now soft deploying a quantum video offering which employs a video server and a client set-top box which will give the consumer so much choices on how they interact with the video through the network.